We're the Armed Attorneys, and today we're going to talk about how to legally carry a handgun in the state of Texas. And I think we start that discussion with who is qualified to carry a handgun in public, uh, Richard? So we have two videos for you linked in the comment section below talking about who's qualified to carry under the authority of a uh, Texas constitutional carry. We also discuss eligibility criteria for license to carry, you know, if you want to get a Texas license to carry. So if you're a Texas license holder, I bet you know that whether you got that card in your wallet or not. Or not. So for purposes of this video, we're talking about license holders and constitutional carriers. So how can we legally carry? Let's talk about the two legal methods here in Texas. You want to kick us off? Yeah. So first of all, you can legally carry your handgun openly However, it has to be in a holster, um, and that's it. That's the only requirement. We don't define what kind of holster. Um, now, if you have been carrying in Texas for a couple of years, you might think that's untrue. It has to be in a shoulder or belt holster. But actually, that law was revised in 2021. We struck all references to shoulder and belt in Texas law. So now, if that handgun is partially or wholly visible, it just must be holstered make sure it is a commercially available holster um, but otherwise whatever makes your whatever makes your carry pleasant easy whatever's going to make sure that you are carrying as much as possible whether that's your um, belt holster your shoulder holster your um, belly band your ankle holster pilot holster your uh, the list goes on and on mm -hmm. your imagination can go wild there's a lot of different holsters and the door is opened up here in texas with open carry. The the other thing that I'll add about, uh, you know, she like Emily said, partially or wholly visible. We get a lot of questions about, you know, what about unintentional display? Let's say you're at the grocery store and you reach up too high and um, your shirt exposes your handgun and your waistband. That's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about intentionally displaying your handgun, um, you know, so that part of the handgun is visible. So if it meets that qualification, as Emily described, needs to be carried in a holster. The other option that we have is concealed, and they don't really specify how you carry concealed. So long as no part of the handgun is visible based on ordinary observation, you can carry it. So think glove box, center console, pocket, jacket, backpack, uh, under your shirt. You know, there's a, as handbag. long as it's good. Yeah, handbag, Richard, backpack, that's where mine briefcase. Lives. <laughs> briefcase. There we go. There's, as long as it's concealed, uh, there's it doesn't specify. Now it's probably prudent to keep it in a holster. You don't want any accidental or negligent discharges. You don't want to reach into your purse and have your gun go off or reach into your briefcase and have your gun go off. So it's probably a good idea to keep it in a holster. Uh, but when you carry concealed, there's really no special way uh, that you have to carry concealed. Now, the other thing that this raises is vehicle carry. Because prior to, you know, September 1st, 2021, if you openly carried in a vehicle, it had to be carried in a belt or shoulder holster. But now that Emily, you know, has described those words are gone. Those don't exist in law anymore. So talk to talk us through some vehicle carry now. Yeah, so vehicle carry um, has gotten a little bit easier. And a couple of the frequently asked questions we get about vehicle carry are, um, can I have, you know, let's say an under dash mounted holster? Now I'm not talking about one of those magnets you see that's not really a holster. Um, it's just a magnet that holds your gun there. We're talking about the ones that actually have a mechanism to cover the trigger. Um, a legitimate holster um, and the answer now as of September 1st of 2021 is that's completely acceptable it is a holster it is on or about your person it is completely lawful to have it in a dash mounted holster um, also people call in all the time and say you know I want to take my paddle holster off put it on the seat next to me um, that's fine the weapon is holstered it is on or about your person so vehicle carry just got a lot easier yeah and, and as emily said it's holster is not defined but i would use use your common sense you know when i think holster think sword to sheath uh holster is to handgun something that encloses it you have to perform some action before it'd be readily dischargeable so as she said those those i've seen them on facebook ads where the person has the magnet and they rack it and they engage in road rage Probably not legal in the state of Texas because that doesn't enclose the, the action and the, and the trigger. But otherwise, the door is really opened up on, on vehicle carry. Uh, but thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Consider subscribing and help us fight the anti-2A algorithm by sharing this video. And as always, we appreciate your questions and your discussion in the comments section below. And until next time, we're the Arms Journeys.